Hey, what's going on? Y'all hold on. I gotta find my pad. Oh, my pad is in my chair. My pad is already in my chair. track and field but uh, we had some pretty successful years with the, with the HSI crew and uh, some of the other people on the circuit decided they wanted to see uh, what what was working for HSI that wasn't working for them <laughs> <laughs> well well we can also say that there was a lot of John Smith in it too oh 100% a lot. But, yeah. but I, I was the one that was, was taking the John Smith workouts out of their legs this is correct this is correct because you got to be able to recover from those workouts to be able to, to perform at your best so let me ask you this let me ask you this question right here how many medals I know off the top of your head you're probably not going to be able to spit it out but how many medalists would you say you would be responsible for as the person you are. Uh, we talk individual or, or, we, or all of them, Jack. <laughs> Anything, just relay. Give me all of them. Give me, throw it out there. Minimum of hundred. <laughs> that Jack say a minimum of hundred. Hold on, y'all. I want him to do that. Let me explain to y'all what he's expressing. Okay, this is a behind the scenes person. All right, before y'all see us out there doing all the work well, back when we was running and he was training, you know us. Before y'all seeing us doing all the crazy nonsense, he was the last person we saw, which is the most important person because before, you went, to the call before room. we went to the call room, he was the last. If you didn't go through him, then there's a good chance you weren't going to go through the line in top three. Literally, like that's what Andy was for. I first was introduced to you in 2003 in Rome. That was my... Well, it wasn't really my rookie year, because my rookie year was actually, I'll say 2004 when I first started working with you. You on the TC tour of Europe? Yeah, I was on the TC tour. <laughs> <laughs> we, call that, we call that the Chitlin tour. Yeah, I was on the Chitlin circuit. Yeah, I was on the Chitlin circuit in 2003. That was when I first met you. was in Rome, as a matter of fact. But So I wasn't a big dog yet. So in 2003, he wasn't working on me. He was working on people like Bernard Williams and stuff like that. But I was hanging with Bernard um, during the summertime in Rome. Yeah. And, and John Lapel. So that's why that's how I met him. And so then it was 2004 when, when me and you officially started working together. And I'm going to tell you something that you may have forgotten. But the first time you worked on me in 2004 at the Olympic trials, we was at the hotel or whatever. And I got on your table and I said, Big Dog, this is what I want to do when I'm done. I said, when I'm done competing, I want to be a personal trainer. I want to be a coach. I want to know as much as I can about the body because I felt like me doing a kinesiology degree for two years wasn't going to give me enough. And I knew I had a long career. So I told him, I said, every time I get on your table, I'm going to be asking questions. I'm going to be asking what you're doing, why you're doing. Even if I got hurt, I'm going to be asking what is the reasoning? Because I always understood that I would gain more knowledge from actually being with him my entire career, which was all the way through 13, than I could with any school going to. Because first of all, this man's worked on legends. So what, it, for me, it literally, I was like, you know what? 
Every time I get on your table, I'm going to ask questions. Time to pick the brain. Time to pick the brain. And that's exactly what happened. Now, the hard part was having to be able to focus, to ask questions while getting worked on by this man. <laughs> well, that, when he first started getting worked on by me, I was affectionately known on the circuit as Dr. Payne. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. these thumbs here were my tools. And in order to get into the tissue, you had to work through extremely tight muscle fiber and uh, a lot of adhesions in the muscles from the workouts and everything. So it was a painful experience. But as I progressed in my career, I became aware of certain other tools to use on, on, instead of my thumbs. And I did use washas, I've used ASTEM tools, but the most effective tools I ever found were in 2009, to the end of my career, they were called fascial abrasion tools. And uh, they were invented by a Canadian chiropractor, and the difference between those tools and every other soft tissue tool on the market I found is that they're textured, it helps grip the tissue and move it around, and so it's probably 90% less painful than my thumbs. But you know, you know well, well, first of all, I, I, when he was learning it, I was one of the dummies that he was working on. When, yeah, I, I, now I, I'm a dummy. <laughs> I was one of the dummies. He was like, right, I got this new stuff, this new tool, this new grass and stuff. He said, it ain't going to hurt as bad. And I can save my thumbs. I said, big dog, anything you can do that's going to work outside of your damn thumbs, I am with it. All he really did was go down from like, if, if the pain scale that he gave you was 100, he just dropped down to 95 because he still wasn't nice with it. It was just like, I'm just not going to do this with it. I'm going to do this with it. So I just want to tell you, you, it, did, you it didn't get no easier. Even you switching over, that shit still was hard. <laughs> that easier for me. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, got, it got easier for you because you used to sit there and smile and just sit and do this. Turn over. <laughs> yeah, but if I didn't have those, I would have been out of the, out of the, out of the business way before then. In 2009, my thumbs were at the end. Yeah. In Berlin, I, when I was working on Carmelita and mm -hmm. the, the group that I was with back then, I, I could only work as deep into the tissue as I could take the pain I was inflicting into my own thumbs. Mm -hmm. And at, at the after after treat after you know all day at the track, I'd have to go home and ice my thumbs and then or come back the next day. Yeah. But again, I, by starting to use those tools, I was able to extend my career another four years, and I'm still using the tools, and I'm still doing pretty good work. But you're not working on track athletes no more. Not anymore. The last track athlete that I worked on was Nick Willis. Mm -hmm. he, he was doing he was doing his uh, pre pre Olympic training and for Rio in uh, Flagstaff, mm -hmm. and he came through Flagstaff and had me work on him before he got on the plane to go to Rio, and he got the bronze in Rio. <laughs> you know, you know, before you get out of here, I'm making, I'm, you're going to have, uh, for old time's sake, I'm going to have to get on the table. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to have to get on the table for old time's sake. We're going to have to take a selfie, too. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Uh, let me ask you this, then. So, you being, even even with Pookie, oh, they know who Pookie is, not Jeremy one. Even with Jeremy, you know, Carmen Leader, I mean, you you worked on all of the top People, Veronica what? Campbell, Veronica, or, everybody, uh, yeah, like, and yeah, all the way back to Debbie Ferguson, why, nice all of us, all of us, <laughs> like, the list could go on and on. Why did you stop? Well, the reason I stopped was because the track circuit had changed. We'd gone from the Golden League to the Diamond League format, and world championships had been awarded to Russia in 2013, and uh, after what Russia had done, the Olympics in Sochi with their systematic cheating and their, you know, their invasion of Ukraine and everything else. There was no way that I, my own personal principles, that I could spend a single dollar of my hard-earned American money in Russia. Mm -hmm. So I retired from the circuit and opened a practice in Phoenix. I knew I could get find something to work. Find work wasn't a problem when, when you when, 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 when you know what I know. That, that's not that's not an issue at all. Hold on. Oh, all right, I, I see y'all comments over here. I've been, I've been helping y'all out. Hold on one second. They want me to mic you up because they want me to hear you a little better. Right. <laughs> hey, Lily, just add this. They called you Mr. Right. And, and they called you Mr. Miller. Like, can you please mic Mr. Miller up so we? How you get to be? Mr.
own damn show. <laughs> damn, can we get like a Mr. Ray sometime every now and again? Dang. You just did hook it on, man. Go ahead and hook it on. Then I guess now they stop playing. All right, y'all happy now? Damn. Dude, I came in and missed the came here and missed the really well. So, can you hear it now? I'm sure you can. You can probably still hear me too because I stay yelling. All right, so oh, let me. Oh, I'm good. All right. Let me ask you this here. Uh, so you you came through the changeover from Golden League to Diamond League. Yep. And I'm always talking about the differences from Golden League and Diamond League because I, I went through the changeover as well. And I'm I'm trying to explain to fans, athletes, and everything that. To me personally, I felt like the Golden League was way better oh, for track and field than the Diamond 100%. League. Because the Golden League actually gave us a sport. And not only did it give us a sport, it gave us a chance to actually make money in the sport. Yeah, well, I got a perfect example of, of, of how it's changed. Let me hear. All right. In 96, 97, you go to Zurich or Luzon and you get the men's 100 meter field. Mm -hmm. You're going to have Frankie Fredericks, Otto Boulder, mm -hmm. Maurice Green, mm -hmm. John Drummond, mm -hmm. Linford Christie. Goodness, that's a race. <laughs> that's a race. Bruni Surin, Donovan Bailey, Jeez. all on the track at the same time. That's the Olympic final. Yeah, and world final, that's and, and, and a fantasy final. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would get that at a, at a race in Luzon or, or Zurich at the big, 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 big meets. And the other thing was that at those, at, during the Golden League, we would have the men and women's 100 at the same meet, the men and women's 400, the men and women's 400 hurdles. So you'd have way more sprints and a lot less distance. And so, you know, to me, it was more exciting back then. Mm -hmm. Now you look at the Diamond League, you get men's 100, women's 200, Women's hurdles, no men's hurdles. Mm -hmm. The men's 400, no women's 400, and so you get a few more middle distance. But the only people who won when they switched from Golden League to Diamond Leagues were the meat promoters because they had mm -hmm. they had to pay less money to the to the to the high class athletes. And now you look at a 100 meter sprinter, a 100 meter sprint at the at the, at the Diamond League, and you're going to have one or two names, you know, maybe Andre de Grasse in one lane and and Johan Blake or somebody else in, in the other lane, and the other six lane, they're running for bonuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not only the bonuses, the, the prize money dropped dramatically. Well, that's what I meant by bonuses. Yeah, oh, the bonus, yeah, the, the prize money. And I was explaining on the show, like, last week that what what they, because everybody was talking about the $30,000 at, at the Diamond League Final, which I was talking about. You yeah, know? big deal. But I was like, y'all don't get it. One race in Rome was that. If you went to Rome and you any Golden League, if you won the hundred and the two hundred, you just walked out with thirty bands. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and the other thing was back 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 in the in the late nineties, early two thousand, is there were appearance fees for 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 your better yeah. athletes. Mm -hmm. You know, when when it went to Diamond League, the only person getting paid was Hussein. Yeah. He was making yeah. a quarter of a million dollars to show up. I'm and, glad you just said that because... And I love Hussein. I do too. I respect him for what he... And he deserved every penny he of that did. money. <laughs> uh, during Diamond League Finals, I'm glad you said that because, you know, people was wondering about the appearance fee. And I said the reason why um, the reason why Shelly didn't go was because of the appearance fee and they couldn't afford her. And that's when I was explaining to people, like, every time y'all saw Boat, he got a quarter of a million dollars to beat him. So without you saying, I, I'm glad that you you reiterated that part. And well, Michael Johnson got paid, Carl Lewis got paid, they all got paid, but that was back in the in 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 the in, in the Golden League. Now let me ask you something, because you would probably know. Let me ask you something. This is a rumor I heard about Carl, right, and the money. I heard Carl was making upwards to close to a half million dollars. His last year. He was. Yeah. That's, that's the rumor I heard, I heard when Carl, at, at, at the end, at, he was showing up, he was getting half a million that, that, dollars. That was basically the, the, the meat promoters showing their appreciation of what he'd done over his career. Gotcha. That was a special circumstance. When Michael retired, he got paid, too. Not, yeah, Michael Jones, when he got retired, yeah. he, he got yeah. paid, too. Dang, half a million dollars. 
That money ain't out there no more. No, I mean, it's not well, out there well, no well, look at back in 2000, Maurice won the, won the uh, 100 in, in, in uh, Sydney. Sydney. He blew off the Grand Prix final. And they were going to pay him a quarter million dollars to, to show up. Why, why, why did he do that, though? Because he wanted to go party in America. Got to be Mo Kelp. But that sound like Maurice, though. That sound like Mo. I love Mo. Mo, Mo you know I love you, though. Well, hey, Mo, lives, like Mo lives in Phoenix. I see, oh. him, I see him every now and then. He lives in Phoenix. He's, he's coaching out there. Yeah, he out there. Now, you know when I made the switch over to Nigeria, that's why I did it. Because okay. Mo was there. Okay. That's the only reason why I switched over, because he was there, and then he was trying to help them build a program. So that's why there were so many Americans that switched over who had Nigerian background, they're going to call it. It was all because Maurice Green was our coach. So, anyway, let's fast forward on to track and field now. I got a couple questions I want to ask you. I know they want to know. What are your thoughts on, let's start at the top, what are your thoughts on Sha'Carri Richardson and everything that went through, she went through this entire track season? Well, that's a toughie. I don't know her personally, never, mm -hmm. met, met, never met the young lady, but whoever's her agent needs to sit her down and explain some things. I mean, if you go to trials and you make the finals, you got to, 80% chance of being drug tested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you make the final four, you got a 100% <laughs> chance to make, make one hundred percent. And this is not this is not new, no news. This isn't this no. isn't new this year. <laughs> okay, this has been, been been going down forever. So whoever was her advisor, spiritual, business wise, wasn't doing his job mm -hmm. or her job. I have no idea who, who that person is because mm -hmm. I've been removed from track and field. I watch track and field as a fan now, not as being intimately involved, but mm -hmm. with intimate experience. <laughs> so let me ask you this then, not from the, trip, from the fan side. I'm going to ask you from the body side and from you being in the sport. What do you think her real chances were when she went to Prefontaine of winning that race? Zero. She wasn't competing. She, her, she wasn't taxing her system to the max. You have to tax the nervous system, be mentally and physically, mm -hmm. in order to perform at peak level. Mm -hmm. And these mm -hmm. girls just came off the Olympic championships where they were going through rounds. Every day they were taxing that nervous system. Mm -hmm. And even though they had some jet lag, they still were, the, their nervous system was turned on. I mean, I thought Shikari made a good, good move when she went to Europe and ran the 200 mm -hmm. first. Yeah. You know, turn the nervous system on. But, you know, she wasn't, she hadn't been, she wasn't race sharp. Yeah, yeah. And you're no way yeah. you're going to come out. I mean, come on, Kambunji from, and I, I, I worked on the, her when she was younger and I was mm -hmm. on the circuit. Good girl, hard worker. Mm -hmm. But there's no way she should beat. Shikari in 100 meters ever. I would go with ever as well. I would go with ever, ever as well. Um, and she's having her best year ever. Yeah, she really is. She really and is. I, you know. I was a little upset though at pre um, after she won the 200 or whatever at pre, and then they didn't give her an interview. Like, yeah. And I, that, yeah, that, that yeah. I was a little upset, and then she was like, "Well, I was, I was also upset they didn't interview Elaine." Yeah, at all. They, they didn't interview Elaine. Or, or, but or but but Shelly's little face. Behind behind oh, that man, interview that, was, was that perfect. Now, that, was that now perfect. is the that, you know she I don't know if you know but she carried turn, changed that to her um meme her, no her um uh, her Twitter handle if you go to her Twitter her Twitter whatever it's called that's her <laughs> that's her her look uh, whatever emoji, emoji, emoji emoji whatever the hell that that stuff called her picture is now that picture with Shelly in the background doing this I be <laughs> dying I was like oh that's so disrespectful but. She did, she mean, it, it, it was part of the sport. The one thing now, so that whole week leading up, you know, I, 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 I boost the sport up. I was saying that she was going to win it, okay? Now, here's why. Everything you just said is the reason why all of us know she wasn't going to win it because she ain't race sharp. So, I was going with the benefit of the doubt of saying, I'm going to go to she's the rested. extreme. She's resting. Exactly. That's that exactly. <laughs> Yeah, she ain't, she ain't taxed her body. That, that, see, we all the same thing. That was my theory. I said, well, look, I said she rested. I said she got to be mad because she didn't go to Tokyo. Well, I said she better she be mad. Be she better be mad at herself. She better be mad at herself. That's what I'm saying. I felt like she should have been. She was at home getting ready. Like I'm not in Tokyo. When I see y'all again, it's on. 
I was giving her that benefit of the doubt. I realized after the race, she's not that athlete yet. Not yet. Because she, let, let, let's just call it what it is. She's young. She's young. Because you flip the script and put it, that in Elaine's position and she don't get to go to Tokyo, the next time you see Elaine, <laughs> there's going to be some buck whipping out there. Don't do that. <laughs> not even get on the track. <laughs> you better not even get on the track. All right, so flip it. Elaine, tell me how you felt about Elaine's season this year. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. She's, you know, to come that close to uh, the world record and to be so consistently under 10-8, mm-hmm. but in her, her case, 10-7. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, come on, how many, how many races she got under 10-7 this year? That's got to be a record. It is. For it one is. year. Mm-hmm. She did. She wrote a record. Yeah, for the most 10-6s. 10-6 and 10-5. Yeah, I mean, that's the, she's phenomenal. Nothing, no, you know, hell, the 400 hurdles, give me a break. You got three people under the Olympic record, mm-hmm. two people under the world record, you know, in the, in the men's, and in the women's, you got damn near the same thing. Since you switched over to that, what do you think about that 400 meter hurdle on both sides, men and women? This year? Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I never thought I'd see sub 43. I'm sorry, 45. Sub so 46. 46, yeah. I never thought I'd see sub 46. Well, 47. He went, for, no, 46. 46. He went 46. 9. Yeah, because the, the year Batman was having his great year and setting yep. meat records all through Europe, I was putting him back together with chewing gum every week. I, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was there. And he went around in about 47s. Yeah, but consistent. Consistent 47s. I don't think people really understand how fast Warholm, he went 45-9, over hurdles. Yeah. Over hurdles. No, the, this I'm, year, for me, the hurdles was probably the most the exciting one to watch because the 100 is always exciting. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, you, you, you look at, you know, the, the American, too. I mean, come on, that was right at a hell of yeah, a job. Right did. Right. <laughs> Second fastest time ever. When, when, as soon as that race was over with, I said, I text Tyson. I was like, Rob, can you feel how you felt 2009? Yeah. When you when when Tyson went nine six and still lost because somebody else is even further ahead of you in the record, yeah. And then so when I was talking to people that that's exactly what happened. That was like the whole night. Ryan was just crying, you know, because it's like why cry? You just but that's the thing. It's like why cry? But you just did the fastest time in your life. You came up with silver medal. Yeah, you came up short, but you lost to a better man that day. That happens. All the time. There's a better man every 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 race. It happens. All the time. But you know, just like you was there in New York when Bolt broke it, I was in that race. Everybody always says, Ray, you you was in it though. It, it, what are you what are you sad about? It's the fact that I thought I was good. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know what Rob did, and Rob's in there like, I thought it was me. <laughs> he, he is good. He's the second best person in the world. <laughs> Don't nobody want to be no damn second best. But, but that's just the motivator. <laughs> that does motivate you to come back and train next year. It motivates you to come back and train next year. But when you break the record and still lose, it's like, what can you do? Yeah. I mean, the same thing with, 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 uh, with the women. What can you do? Like, I broke the record, but I got second. Wait, wait, huh? How? Well, the winner broke it too. It just shattered it. <laughs> yeah. That shit don't sound right. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I've had athletes get mad at me because I tell them not to run because they're going to get further hurt. Like, like for example, the four, world record in holder in 400 meters, right? Mm-hmm. The South African. I can't remember his name, name right now. But it, then, but, then, uh, yeah, then, 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 then uh, yeah, then Neekrick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, one year he came to the meet in New York. They flew him all the way from South Africa, and he showed up with a with a with a injured hamstring. So I checked him out and tested him, and told his agent and and the meat promoter. I said, "This if he runs, he's got a good chance of destroying his hamstring mm-hmm. and not have a career." And he got mad at me, but they scratched him. He didn't run, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he set the world record. Sometimes you got to make a tough call. Yep. And I will say that's the one thing that I always did respect about you was you never moved around for the shoe companies or the agents. Like, you didn't. Like, how I I tell people now, a lot of people in this new generation of track and field, they move around like like they work for the the shoe companies, they work for the shoe agents, and it's like, 
like what you just said, like most trainers today won't do that. They'll just be like, well, Nike wants you to run or I'm going to do my job. You were like, Ray, you feel this shit? Yeah, I feel it. I don't want to think you want to go out there. John, big dog say, I can't run. <laughs> John be like, what Andy say? Andy say, you ain't ready. All right, well, you pulling out then. I think that's the thing that we miss now as well. And probably one of the reasons why I like to say people don't run as fast anymore. Because when they get hurt, and I know a lot of athletes who was in Tokyo that were hurt and still ran. And before Tokyo was hurt, and I know for a fact, I'm not going to put the, the information like I always say, but one of our athletes, their doctor continuously kept telling their coach, he, I'm going to say the he, he don't need to run. Let him sit and he sit and run. sit. He yeah. should not be running. And what they kept doing, giving him a lot, get him a lot anyway. And, and they were telling me, like, Ray, I already told him. He okay. ain't going to get no better. It's only going to get worse. And yeah. well, I mean, I almost got banned from pre Fontaine one, one year. I know that. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I had the, I had the name names cap and the, mm -hmm. the and and the meat promoter mm -hmm. in my face mm -hmm. because I told a girl that in my opinion if she were to run it would be a mistake but it's her choice mm -hmm. and then her agent told the meat promoter that she wasn't going to scratch at the last minute and so now they, the, somebody else scratched and now the the, meat, the race went from eight athletes to six so mm -hmm. it doesn't look good for TV yeah you yeah know, so I got I got chewed out pretty good but you know I wasn't my call, but the reason I got blamed was because her agent wouldn't put it on the athlete. Mm. The agent put it on me. Mm -hmm. And I never once said, you can't run. Mm -hmm. I said, it's your decision. My recommendation is no, but it's your decision. Mm -hmm. And she picked up the phone, called her agent, scratched, and I got blamed. Well... Well, it's also because you was more of a Adidas man than a Nike man, too. Well, Let's just go on and put it out there. You weren't no pure blood. No, Nike that's wrong. Good. That's wrong. I thought you was Adidas. I thought no, was and Adidas treated me better. Oh, damn. <laughs> I was about to say, I thought Spencer was No, no, Sp you. Spencer, Spencer treated me better than, than, than Nike. But when Maurice got the world record, he was with Nike. Yeah, he was. You know, and he didn't switch to Adidas until after he got in hit, hurt in Edmonton. Yep. And that was when he quit using me. Yeah, you want me to tell, you want me to tell that yeah, story? Yeah, that's what we're here for, right? Oh, it's man. Reality, that's what these folks come out here for. All right, well, 2001, I mean, I've been with HSI since 95, before it, before it really became HSI, mm -hmm. before Maurice got, Maurice was, was hurt at trials, and, you know, that's the first time I met him, but anyway, he wasn't even with HSI. He didn't come out to HSI until after the Olympics in 96. Mm -hmm. Well... I worked with Maurice and Otto straight through 96 to 2001, and HSI did a pretty good job of dominating the 100 meters. And they did an excellent job. You know, and they got good, good results. But we used to go up to Edmonton for World Championships, and I'm in the lobby. You know, they said, we're going to practice at such and such time. I got my table. I'm down there ready to go. And I see this, this, this other guy with a table and sitting around, and, you know, I've never been introduced to him or anything. And then all of a sudden, you know, the... the the agent comes and the coach and the athletes, so we all get, get in the bus and the guy comes along with us. And I said, what the heck? Ain't nobody tell me anything, not, not the agent, not the athlete, nothing. And this is a new guy, I, should I name him or not? Yeah. His name is Kareem. Uh, hi. Uh, no, the, okay. he, he was a... Oh, this is he, Edmonton, he, you didn't know him. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was a... Indian, Pakistani, some kind of some kind of sub sub Saharan, you know, uh, nationality. I don't know. I don't remember for sure. But anyway, it was like, uh, anybody want to tell me what's going on? <laughs> and so it turns out that Maurice had met this guy out of some photo shoot he, he was doing with Sports Illustrated, and he liked the way he was treating him because he wasn't as aggressive as I was. But if you don't get deep in, into mm -hmm. the muscles, you can't clear out all the junk in the trunk. Mm -hmm. So at Edmonton, I never touched Maurice except to check his alignments mm -hmm. and stretch him. All the soft tissue work was done by this guy, mm. right? And so, fine. You know, I'm, do, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a, as, a, as, a, as a team player. I worked with Bernard. I worked with... with, with uh, JD until he 
pulled up, you know, in, in the in the semis or the qualifiers, and uh, you know, auto and everything went 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 great, and uh, we to the 100 meter final and Maurice pulls. I don't know if I would have been able to stop it, but I know that I would have been able to to, to work deeper into the mm -hmm. tissue than him. But again, not my call. Mm -hmm. It's the athlete's call. It's whatever mm -hmm. they're whatever they're happy with. It. I just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We had Inger back there and Larry. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So th that was the end of the story. Similar situation with Tyson. Mm -hmm. I was at trials and I worked on Tyson. Through the, through the through through the hundred, but he brought Benny mm -hmm. with him and his the, the the girl that always worked with him from Colorado, the mm -hmm. short one, and he did all the soft tissue work, and like my philosophy is in after a, after a race is to give a, a short cool down massage mm -hmm. to flush out the system, get them off my table as quick as I can, get them into the get them into the the, the ice bath get food in their system, and get them back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. Well, in the meantime, he's spending a half hour to an hour getting worked on after the race with, with Benny. Mm -hmm. And then I went to his hotel in between the 100 and the 200, asking him if he wanted me to do anything. Again, I wanted to get into the tissue and mm -hmm. strip him out since he run, runs so fast. You know, it, that was, this is 08 before Beijing. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, he just wanted to get adjusted. So again, I'll just do my thing. Mm -hmm. And then 200 shows up. Yep, I know. And you know what happened in Beijing. Yep, yep, yep. So because I'm on this side of it now, I feel like back then I was just a little smarter because I got on Benny's table once because, you know, I, I was with Jay. Well, and and, and he's here. He's here in Yeah, time. I got on him on the table one time and then I was like, I'll try him one more time. But for me, I think it was a psychological thing. Like, after you, because I was with you since 2004. 05 when I made the championship that I was with you then. 07, all those years. So when people started touching me, it was a comparison. It's like, now, if, if I'm not feeling that st being stripped mentally, I feel like I'm not even ready now. Because I got so used to that pain and understanding that what you were doing was going through deeper levels of fascia to actually break up stuff that people couldn't do. And I would always tell people, like, no, 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 you, I'm not going to massage envy. I don't need you to put on lotion on my legs. I need you to do what big dogs do. And my, you can ask anybody. Everybody that knows me know who you are when I talk about track and field. Because I'd be like, man, y'all can't. Man, these people that are working on y'all, even my athletes, I'd be like, y'all... Y'all ain't nothing compared to Big Dog. And there's only one person, and she actually comes here now. Um, she works here. I said, you are the first person I've found close. I didn't even say like. I said close to the trainer I had when I was getting worked on as a professional athlete. Because she can make it, she can make you feel it. But it's like when you, when you do it, it's like the whole muscle you feel it. <laughs> well, look, I mean, there were times when... I was working on athletes where if I was getting into that IT band, oh, no. I, would ha I would have to have another athlete or two sit on the opposite side of the table because they was trying to get off my table. Yeah. Yeah. The IT band wasn't the worst. I'm going to tell you which one's the worst. But you're not going to do this shit. They're going to tell you which one's the worst. Right here. Oh. <laughs> the glute mead. That, when it was just that thumb mm. right there, I was like, what? And do you got an ice like, and get your damn fingernail out my butt. Like, it's not my fingernail, right? You got to have a, your fingernail or a <laughs> felt, poker or felt something. felt like an ice pick. Oh, it felt like somebody had a damn hot poker. It just was sticking me like, and then it's like, no, look, it's my thumb. Cut that damn thing off. <laughs> Between that and getting that Achilles to get that ankle flexion, those two, but I remember... I remember the night before I made the, the, the World Championship team, um, when I was in there. And then you was like, um, no, nah, let me back it up. Prefontaine. Because Prefontaine, who was at, um, whose house were we at? My sister's. Your sister's house, Prefontaine. And that was when I had won the morning session and Mike had won the evening session. You worked on me then. And that's when I told you, I said, Big Dog, we making this team. And then sure enough, 
uh, the night before World Championship, after the rounds, when you was down here, you was like, Ray, it's it going to hurt. But I was like, I said, Big Dog, I'm making this team tomorrow. Do what you got to do. And I think I shouldn't have said that because you was like, all right, we're going to make the team. That was the most painful memory in my entire life. But then the next day, we made the team. And I was like, Big Dog, we made the team. Baby, we made the team. I still, my shit still so but. <laughs> But we, we, we accomplished but our we goal. we accomplished our goal, and I appreciate you for that, brother. I appreciate you that, for real. I, 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 I tell people all the time now, like, Andy don't understand the appreciation I have for him because if it wasn't for him, there wouldn't be no race. Because if, this if he didn't be here. work this on This wouldn't me, be here. This would, would, literally, this would not be here if it wasn't for you because, A, 2004, I told you this is what I want to do, and you helped me by teaching me for nine whole years straight. 2009, you helped me make a team, and then after that, you helped me stay together every year so that I could continue to run, and literally is the reason why I have Olympic fit. So I appreciate that, brother. I truly appreciate that. My, I my, my appreciate pleasure. that. My pleasure. I appreciate the fact that you wasn't one of those stuck-up people just to be like, ah, whatever. But now, literally, like, I'm telling y'all, every time, Big Dog, what you doing today? Well, I can't really. Right now, he being, he being TV. This ain't how he actually talked to us. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all that now. He being good for TV, but it was a bunch of flip yard. Yeah, it's what hey, it was all up. You know what? Cause we've been on here so long. Uh, y'all wanna see this? I'm gonna uh get on this table so he can kind of show y'all a little bit of what it is that he. First of all. First of all, I, I don't like the way you did that. <laughs> I, don't like the way you, I thought she was gonna go get a bag or go get some lotion or something. I got that. No, I, I got my lotion. Like you, you pull it out. I'm ready. Like, I'm, 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 like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Like where your muscles at? I'm not ready at all. <laughs> all right, so well, we gonna turn this camera around. I guess. Oh uh, shit! Uh, hold on, Clint. Brother Clint, where you at? Clint. All right. Let me turn this thing around to the table for y'all. Wait, wait, wait. You, hooked, mm -hmm. you got me hooked up here. Oh, yeah, you be all right. Mm -hmm. Woo. What side do you need to be on? Where do you need to move? Well, this is fine. We can just do this okay. side here. Uh, all right. Just monitor this. Oh, and uh, just watch, watch this, case, this cable in case you need to move. That's all. All right. Out of the, the stand in case you got to move around. <sighs> God! Hold on, then. Let me think about it. Hold on, because I really had a flashback. Focus. I really focus. had a flashback. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking, as soon as I got down, I was like, oh, no, he was going again. Well, right. I'll give well, you how you want me? Face, face up, down. Face, face down. down. Face down. Face down. I, I, I always start on the back side because it, there's more tissue on the back side to work. Oh, oh, oh I ain't ready. I'm going to let it get it. Right, so then I'd like to put the leg out the side. Ah. <laughs> I'm just practicing my screen from like for folks. Ooh, can I, hold on now. Think, let's keep this in mind too. I'm not running, and no, or neither are you doing. This is not 2009, Jack. I ain't got no championship to go to. You can be easy, right? You All right. Easy. Well, easy. right in here. Ooh, it, I know. I feel it. 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 it feels like a piece of rebar. All right. So these tools are gonna make that go away. So we just keep it flat and rub real fast. This is a new tool. Oh, okay, I can do this, Jack. This is a new tool. Oh, okay, all right. I can do this, man. This, this ain't like how it was. I told you it's 90% less painful. Oh, man. This, it's a whole lot less painful than, than you. This don't even feel like you no more. This, now, feel the difference here. Oh, wait a minute. See that difference? Wait a what happened? Just shut your mouth. What happened? Don't shut your mouth. That shit gone. I know. Well, I might be able to run again, y'all. Shit, I might lie. Two thousand and something. What year coming up there? Oregon? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm we going. Back. I'm going to back. We come out of time. Me and Big Dog both. You probably not, but no. it sounds good. See, <laughs> see that? See that? Hey, man, real. That shit worked. Like no bull. Like that shit really worked. Unreal. Worked. I told you. I thought, have I ever bullshitted you? Damn, well check this out. I got this little issue on this side, right? Right well, here. I'll get to that. I'll get to that side. We don't have to we don't have to we we can yeah, okay. do that off TV, okay? Yeah, I'll just make it show. That thing really work. I was prepared for it. 
Careful, so, anyway, if I just go into this IT band like this and p apply a little pressure. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> See, that's what I remember right there. That's right, what I remember. right there. Yeah, I remember that. Right. And well, this is a new method. Oh, my God. Are you serious? As a heart attack. Okay. This can't be right. This can't be right. I told you I want to show your therapist how to use these things. Are you serious right now? Do it again. Do it again. Feel. Feel, feel the difference. You better stop. <laughs> that shit worked for real. What the hell is this shit? Clint, we need them. We need these in the jail, baby. We Whatever this is, we need four of these. We need four of these nine, Jack. Damn, that shit really worked. It was like I felt it, and then it went away. Like I say, I, I, these God. these things are these things are better than I was. Okay. Damn. So now, here's my thumb going hard right there. Now I got a new spot that we haven't cleaned that out yet. Okay. But that was hard, harder than the first time when you were jumping off the table. Yeah, this, this, this is all right right here. This new stuff, this, yeah, this will work. Hmm. Yeah, this don't. Yeah, now, this don't, feel oh. this. Ah. Yeah, I'm telling you, yeah, I'm about to run again. I'm, I'm about to run again. I don't know how far I'm going to walk before it all uh, stop. Do it that close. I don't know how far, how far I'm going to go. And and, and, this, and 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 this was his favorite spot right here. Oh no, it wasn't. Right, right there. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That is. That's 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 the ticket. God, that shit still hurts. So I could show your butt here on TV. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. They know this. You you ain't bashful. No, it's right to take, man. Shoot, they already know. We it's wide open. Ah, let's see what this thing do, man. Let's see. So that's how I do count. All right, we're bend your knee. Bend my knee this way? No, bend it. Oh. it just straight up, and now move it. No, no, move it inside and out. Mm. Yeah, in and out. That's it, slowly. All right, down, relax. All right, there. All right, bend your knee again. Bend it. And rock it in and out. Rock it. This is what we really went through, y'all. Well, not this way, but yeah. Yeah, now feel that. Man, that is not. That's what she's gonna get. That is not a game, Jack. Where did you get this shit from? Doctor Scapatici from Canada. Remember Mark? Doctor Scap. Everybody called him Scap. Okay, now, cause yeah, I, but when you what you said the first time, I was like, who? Scapatici. What? That's that's his that's his real that's that, 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 that's his real name. <laughs> that's his real name is, but he goes by Scap. All right, so uh, now I'm gonna find out what's going on down here. Ooh, 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 ooh yeah. No, I mean, well, cause you got the new thing. Yeah. I've got, I'm, but I still, but I, still I still, I still find it the old way. Yeah. I still gotta feel it. See, I wish half of my classes in here because they they always say, Ray, it only works because you press so hard it makes it forget the pain is there. And I'm like, that what Big Dog taught me. I, I gotta I gotta press to make sure that you, I'm you feeling get, what I think I'm feeling. And you get deep enough. And I get deep enough. Then we can fix it. But I thought that you gotta get on in there, Jack. Now, feel that difference. Man, that feels that. I still got something down there, though. See, big dog, this is the problem I got now. You got the fans and shit, and don't want to train no more, or don't want to be a trainer no more. Like, you know how many people you could get in and out the table with this thing now? I do, but I don't want to do that. I want to teach people how to use this tool so I can share my knowledge. With other people. That's who you are. That's what we just talked about, how this gym even came to be. <laughs> you were correct. You were 100% correct. I mean, if some, I, I learned this stuff or what I know from other people. So if I don't take the opportunity or at least try to pass on the skills that I learned hey, from other won? people, how, why did I have the skills in the first place? Mm -hmm. Hey, who won the race between you and Hudson? We didn't race. Somebody asked me. We never raced. Well, there's no answer. He said they never raced. 
There's a lot of bullshit talk. Yeah. Yeah. Now, see that difference? There's a complete difference. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway. Wow, that's crazy. That thing's like. Because I thought it was like scraping, scrapping, whatever it's called. Uh, it's called grasping tools. Yeah, that there. Yeah, that there. But no, this don't feel like when No, the first tools it. that I started using on you were the green ones, the ceramic ones. And those were those were like grasping tools. Okay, okay. Okay, but this is the this is the, this was this model came out in 2011 just before I got off the circuit. Yeah, cuz this model like literally even when you had the grasping tools, whatever, like they were better than your hands, but you could still feel it. Right. This you really can't feel. It literally like you can feel the difference, but you don't feel it when you're doing it. It's no pain at all. I know. This shit is crazy. This shit is amazing. That shit is crazy. Let's see what we can feel in here first. My hair thing's always good. You know, I ain't never worried about that. You sure? Yeah, I know. I ain't never had a hair thing. You see? <laughs> you, yeah, you sure? I'm telling you what was going on. So last night, right, I was barbecuing, all right? <laughs> I was barbecuing and two minutes came by. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Kicked in my hands straight. Well, before the, I promise y'all, I was good before then. I was good before then. That's my hip. I'm not the only one either. Learn myself. I come in the gym quick and I got to, you know, cut some hair off all. Just know I was at home. I want to, I, I, I can say, I'll, <laughs> if, we can, if we can get five or six people, man, I'll come, I'll come back and teach a work, workshop. You know what? That don't sound like a bad idea. You know, I need I'm, somebody needs to come in here and learn this. I'm, 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 I'm going to talk to JJ and see if he can help promote it. JJ or JD? JJ. JD out of, out, out of the, the, the gym business. Yeah, I know. He's, a, he's selling BMWs. Mm -hmm. All right, now. See that? This just don't make no sense. I just don't understand. All right, boys. Mm -hmm. I literally just don't understand what's going on. I'm being so honest. Well, I told you, it, it grips the tissue and mobilizes the tissue. And then with this edge here, I get in between the different muscle bundles. So I get underneath the muscle fiber and separate them. So they'll, sm they'll glide rather than stick. And it helps to, you know, warm up the hyaluronic acid, which again makes the tissue more, more, more mobile. But I think it's, we've probably done enough to, Stuff for the TV. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Man. I'm probably, good. I I, probably, see, uh, probably I'll let these people off. Huh? Oh, no. The rate takers, they stay all day long. Don't worry about <laughs> it. They die. Hey, you know what? I'm going to switch it up one time. Check and see what. Check. Get on tape. Check, get on tape. Hold on, man. Give me a, give, I, give I me a, ta like, give me a towel. Yeah, yeah, we got I feel like. One leg, one leg is lighter than I, the I other. I feel like. I, I feel like. A, a, what is a unicorn? Like this leg here, I can just. Ah, yeah. But then this leg is still right. This is the old leg. This old leg. This old leg. Let me see how it looks. Yeah. I got one pop. <laughs> All right, girl. Woo, lay, on, on, lay, on. lay on your stomach. <laughs> Woo! Hold on. You're going to clean the table off. Woo, woo, woo. That fucking thing. I didn't. Oh, I still got it. Oh, hey, look who's on the camera. <laughs> I got the nun, Jerry Warner. <laughs> oh, that's his name. Everybody knows him as the nun, Jeremy Warner. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah. And, and when Jeremy and when Jeremy ran his PR, who was working on it? It was, you. It was, you. It was definitely you. So when the nun, the actual real Jeremy Warner. Ran. What? I have lotion on it. That's fine. Okay. All right. So let's see what we can feel. Bend your knee. All right. So you feel this right here? Mm-hmm. When I push, it hurts. So again, the trick for the, with these tools, Ray, is you keep it flat because this tool is actually textured. Uh, you didn't feel that, mm -mm. but that's what grips the tissue. So you just keep it flat, take up the skin t skin t skin slack by pin and stretch, and keep it flat. That's all you're really doing. That's all I'm doing. All right. So that's that that warms it up. You sometimes you can see the, 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 the skin change color gets pinker. Mm -hmm. But now, see how that changed? Mm -hmm. So now, right here, she's got a band right through here that needs to be loosened up. So that's when I take out the sculpting tool. 
Mm -hmm. And this edge allows me to take and separate the tissue up and away this way. Then I turn the tool over and then I separate the tissue down and away this way. And you can move the ankle mm -hmm. again so get, that puts the tissue under tension side to side. And then go back in there and now I'm pushing a lot harder. Mm -hmm. And what do you feel? Feel nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we, we go up here to the IT band. How's that feel, yes. honey? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do, do I have your, do I, do I have your attention? Yes, you have all of these. All undivided. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. That that was the old Dr. Payne showing up. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. that's the person we know. When when, that's when you what, no longer start that, talking calm, I'm like, oh, it's all right. Wait a minute. <laughs> What's this? All right. So again, skin tissue tension. So mm -hmm. you can take it up here. You can take it down here. Depends on which hand you put your your tool in. Mm -hmm. You can go uphill or you can go downhill. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Now you know what I mean. The times I've seen you work on people, and it's not this. I do hundreds and thousands of times. Oh, yeah. How huge is that? Yeah. Man. So now we're just gonna get this edge here. Now, <laughs> now there was a rumor going on on the circuit. What was? The rumor was anytime. Carmelita got on the table. Mm -hmm. Or Veronica. Yep. <laughs> Neither one of them said anything. Pretty much. I still don't believe it. <laughs> I still don't believe it. That was a rumor now. The rumor was, oh yeah, when Carmelita get worked on, she don't say nothing. That's a damn lie. Never she seen. might she might move around, but she don't say much. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I actually one day I seen with my own eyes Veronica in there now. on the phone on on see that difference? Blackberry. Yeah. Way better than before. Damn. <laughs> you, you, you know how this stuff, right? He did tell you. No, no. I didn't want to. He told you what this is, right? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Why the hell? We ain't got it. Well, because everything fights for yeah, I've been trying. I've been trying to have to have Jeremy set me up with the with with Michael's clinic to to give a demonstration out there because any physical therapy, any massage therapist, this is going to number one extend their career, mm -hmm. make them more effective, and be less invasive to the client. So what it sounds like we probably need to go ahead and do an Olympic fit mm. clinic here. And do something about that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, because all you need is this, and then people right now and teach it. Yeah. Well, I work, I'm talking to Scap about doing some 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 filming some 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 classes online mm -hmm. because of this pandemic where you don't you know. Yeah. I'm a, I'm, I'm of course vaccinated, but lay lay down flat because I don't want your butt to be. In. All right. So if I get into here, this is this is what's bothering you, right? What does this help with? Somebody asked. It helps to uh, it helps athletes to recover and to make tissue more supple and movable. All right. So again, I want you to bend your knee. Nope. Just bend it. There you go. And now rock it in and out. That's it. All in. Out slowly. Slowly. That's it. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. And one more, and then relax. Now, feel that difference? Mm -hmm. See right down there now. God. That's from yesterday's practice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bend your knee. That's what you did. Yeah, that's from yesterday. Rock You're it. welcome. Rock it in and out. There you go. Oh, jeez. Good. Uh. Okay, and relax. Wow. There we go. Oh my God. Just like that? Just like that. Me. Like I say, this is this tool is amazing. Clearly. Gracious. Well, the tool may be amazing, but if you don't learn the class behind it. Um, <coughs> or the reasons behind it. Yeah. The reasons behind it they can do no good. Because I can I can get both on right now and it probably ain't gonna do the same.
Probably can do the same thing. I'm pretty sure it ain't actually. Yeah. Yeah. I got to go up to Vegas in October and do a workshop with Larry. Wait. Yeah. That's my boy. <laughs> my boy. Yeah, he's re he's he's out of track and field now. Yeah, well, I mean, why he, would he, sh he should be. I'm saying, why would you stay in track and field when the money is not there and you over here in the boxing side of things? Do deuces. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got There's a spot right there. Got, that's yesterday practice too. See, now this is this is Andy. I know when folks start trying to hold your hand and, and, and love on you, yeah, that's 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 normal. Like, hold hold hold, hold your hand. Let me hold your hand. <laughs> All right, slowly bend your knee, up, 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 and then down, and then up, and down, two more, up, and down, last one, and relax. Now, how does that feel? It feels better than that first time. Oh, dude. Oh, that feels way better. Alright. First time the fear that was in my head. Golly. Thank you. Play flat. Okay. Yeah, you had practice yesterday. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I told him that's right. That's I mean, that's 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 that ain't nothing for the finger right now. He just put a finger right there. And it's like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> All right, bend your knee. Uh, Rock it in and out. Bend it. Rock in and out. They they show themselves to me. How, somebody asked how often through the training year should you be worked on like this? Uh well, and relax. Go ahead, relax. During the training year, once a week, mm -hmm. just to, on a regular basis. Sometimes twice, but mostly once a week. During the race season, depending on how often you're racing every day or you know intermittently a couple times yeah. okay you see your hip flexors too we can't leave we can't we can't leave we can't leave her unbalanced so if i push right here she's going to jump off the table so describe what this feels like i mean it just it hurts right there like it's it. really tight Okay, but you didn't feel it really till I touched it. Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty of the body. It blocks out pain that's not life and death. <laughs> but you need, sometimes you need an external stimulus to bring it to the attention of the nervous system that there needs to be some work down here. So again, he gets the edge of the tool, we get up and under the tissue, and then we go the opposite direction, both sides of that tendon. Little change? And then again, here's that IT band. That's you've seen that. You've seen that yeah. move. You've seen that move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've seen that move before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't 
when I say bringing back memories, boy, look here. No, y'all don't understand. I'm talking about in the hotel room, I, all of us sitting there waiting our turn for this. This right here. Well, actually, it wouldn't be this. You're not experiencing what we experienced at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, not even close to it. I say not even close. Oh, yeah. Not even close. So right, right, right there, this yeah. line right through here. Yeah. Right there. Uh. So I'm going to use this like a chisel. Once I... yeah, get all of yesterday practice out, cause she gotta practice tomorrow. Yeah. Get all of it out, Jack. Get all that out. Woo, cause she got that heel tomorrow. Oh my my, I don't wanna hear no excuse. I'm like, oh no, nah. hell no. Nah. I saw you got worked on yesterday. Oh I don't wanna hear nothing. Oh <laughs> really? And you got worked on by the bit. Oh no, nah, you finna have extra heel tomorrow. Now, yeah, see, feel this difference. Day. I'm not in the best shape. I should get less heels. Get, nah, get what? Less heels. No, no, no. Well, um, because he doing this today. Uh -huh. Yeah. How's that uh -huh. one feel? That's yesterday too. That's yesterday too. Mm-hmm. That's yesterday too. That's all. That's all yesterday. Yeah, because this isn't right. Like I should get less. Well, you would have if Andy had not worked on you. Mm. Yeah, if Andy had not worked on you, you would have got way less. It would have been a lighter day. But considering he here working on you, oh man, we can get it in tomorrow like it's a normal day, Jack. Wow. Chosen, yeah. we can get this thing in tomorrow like it's normal. A little different? Yes, it feels way better. Way better than before. Yeah. 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 Do you have somebody that does this to you? My stepson. Here's your answer. <laughs> Somebody asked. He, li he lives with me in the same house, and I taught him a lot. There's your answer. <laughs> That's who does it to him. The society, you are extremely correct. <laughs> Most people do not know how important this is. Most people oh. have no idea that on the top level, if you're not on this table, you won't stay on the top level. All right, slowly bend your knee. Up, 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 and down. And up. Mandela, yes. And down. At any championship, this is the work that oh, had to be right done. There. Literally. And the photo runs, oh. the photo rounds. And, 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 and a... And a um, Flush out after the round. And a flush out after the round. And then an ice bath. And then an ice bath. Mm -hmm. That was the recipe. And relax. And now you got people scared to take an ice bath. I'm sitting here like, that was mandatory. And they made us get an ice bath as soon as you got done running. Leading the rounds over. No, as soon as I well, got done on you. with you, Because you want to get work done, work, this work done before the ice yep. bath. So it was track and then get this done and then get adjusted. Do, hop in the ice then go to the hotel do you eat. Do you warm, get, get, get off the track, do you yep. warm down, come see me, ice bath, get your ass to the hotel. Yep. And then again that night for one more, it's check up. And then next morning, All right, morning turn it's like night and day. All right, turn over. Yeah, it's like night and day. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Dang, that felt real good. Uh. Oh, he's gonna hurt me. Oh, Ooh, he's <laughs> doogie. Oh, yeah, no, you don't hit the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that, whole, that whole area is gonna oh. be just... Oh, God. If the fascia doesn't let the muscle move, you will not be moving very well. Yeah. Oh, man. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Why is it a bad idea? <laughs> like you're never going to fucking feel better than this in your life. <laughs> no one has ever done this to you, okay? Okay. 
And now you'll have something to judge other people by the rest of your life. I'm going to think they're all peasants. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, she runs. She runs for Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. I asked that question. Do you run? I was like, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Which one no. y'all ask me that? <laughs> BJ, BJ, come on, man. You know you will. You See will that difference? Yeah. Pay for Ray Taylor. That's no crazy question. Oh. Don't you like she runs? She runs for Gunner. She runs 100 and 200. Well, let me say it right. She runs for Gunner. She runs the 60 and the 100. Mostly the 60, but we're going to work on that this year. <laughs> we're going to work on that last 40. Yes, Lord. There we go. Thunder Juice says you're going to feel like a new woman after this. I already do. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's going to... That's here. I know that one. The uh, adductor? Oh, yeah. Well, it's, 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 it's so crazy because normally it would be the worst thing to get done. But with this yeah. new little doohickey, I, I kind of like it. It doesn't hurt. It, it also exfoliates. Oh, okay. We love a good explosion. So you're getting the two for one. Yeah. Relax. All right, so I'm just seeing where the tissue tension is. So right here, all the way up and through here. All right, so. D'Angelo, come on to Dallas, man. You know I got you. Or virtual. We can't do this virtually. No, you can't get this done virtual, though. There's no way you can get this done virtually. But you, you, can, you can train with, you can train with me virtually, but you got it kind of come here for this type of stuff. Or Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> and now? Way better. Um, first of all, VJ, VJ, I can't even say what you want me to say to her. Uh, <laughs> 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 to her, I said, I tell you Man, I can't say this. I can't say this. Hey, yeah. what is it? Hey, hey, I just said, what am I trying I to say? say? Yeah. He's yep. saying, I just said, he's saying hello. Oh that's, what I'm, oh, that's what I was trying to say? Yeah. Why you didn't you just say hello, fool? Because you're speaking Ghanaian. You just could have said after the, the, trying to test, trying to test that we really Canadian in here. Well, I'm not Canadian, but I'm just saying. Boko. Who? Oh, my gosh. Woke up. What did you say? I said, Nami, I do Boko. Who? I don't do You're throwing I, some I French there, too. I, I had a Roku TV. I was speaking back to him. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, my oh. God. The before and after, totally different picture, isn't it? Yes. Two more heels. Mm. Go eight heels tomorrow. Get six. We're doing eight. You can work out with Rachel tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. You can start right tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Go on over there with a quarter mile of water. Oh get the real God. workout in. Yeah, you get a little, 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 little overtraining in? Yeah, you little, know. What little speed endurance? Oh, yeah, but we're in the speed endurance part right now. You know, they got the, the heel work tomorrow. Yeah. You it's know, it's it's it's, it's early in the year, you know. It's a couple of five, a couple of five hundreds would be good too, you know. You know that's a bad what? idea. You know that's <laughs> five hundred. Bad idea. Five, five, five four three five, breakdown. Five, five, Ooh, that's another good one. They got the three two one breakdown here. Oh, oh my god. god. How about a four four, four four the hard way? Ray, get that all out your head. What? Don't, what? Don't. Four more hard way. Mm -hmm. Four the hard way. <laughs> you, well, I'm tell you something about these. Huh? Oh, this is nasty right here. Ooh. They ain't gonna be able to do those types of things. <laughs> they ain't got the toughness we had. Yeah, I see, oh. I see that. Dang. So again, if you move the tissue from side to side, that. that changes how the tissue runs underneath the tool. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Right, you should have seen Fuzzle 4. It would have been way worse. Yeah. Ago. Oh, when, she, when she first started training here, she probably would have broke your tool, man. She, 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 butt, <laughs> she butt luck central? What? Don't Come you. on, Jack. Yeah, now. <laughs> See that difference? Yeah. I'm going to up here. Yeah, we're going to have to have, you know, we're going to have to learn about this. I'm pretty sure Pink can put his thinking cap together and post something for us here. Yeah. Ooh. Jeez, don't even go with it. I can already. I can already. Don't even go with it. <laughs> don't even start. Don't even start. 
Don't even start. Well, you could take all those massage therapists on the circuit. When I was on the circuit, add up all their, their, their medalists, and they wouldn't come close. I know. <laughs> at one time or another, I worked on athletes who set 28 world records. Head down. 28 world records. First one, Maurice Green. Yep. yep. All right, so now white man magic. Now, oh, oh, you know what? That's what I meant to ask you about with a sit down. How the hell do you do the white man magic? It's, Did, it's all applied muscle. kinesiology muscle testing. Yeah, this is your baseline. Hold your arm up strong. Don't let, don't let me push, you know, just straight. Pull, don't let me push it down. Hold up strong. Good. All right, now, first question. <laughs> no, not one okay, that. that's, that's, the, that's the baseline. Oh, yeah, it's baseline. Oh, wait. Okay, now, what's your name? Shakara. Shakara. The first important, most important question, hold it up strong, there's your baseline, is Shakara hydrated? If she's hydrated, the arm will be strong. Mm -hmm. If she's not, the arm will be weak. <laughs> you ain't ready. You ain't ready. And I think she tried. She tried. She tried. Do it again. I got it. Did you do? I got it. Is Shakara hydrated? I got it. <laughs> now, watch this. I'm going to reverse it. Is Shakara dehydrated? <laughs> I don't believe it. I still don't believe it. He did that for 20 years. I still don't believe it. Wait. All right. Okay. Hold it strong. Mm. So oh, no. that, that hip's out of place. That hip's out of place. That knee's out of place. Damn. Strong. That knee's Lord, out of place. I, you ain't ready. I thought you were ready. That, ready that ankle that. ain't right. And that ankle ain't right. So basically... So basically, she needs a complete alignment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that I, means this is a joint is, mobilization. If you do the and he do this test, that means you ain't ready to run. Well, damn, Jack, you can go on back to the room. And this is why we have some stick mobility coming in. Yeah. Help out with some of that. Yeah. Relax, yeah. relax. Oh. That's why. I think I need a day off tomorrow. No, no, no. You, no, no. I'm just telling you, everything he's doing is what we did you're, before you're, we got ready to run. Yes. You're going to be so prime tomorrow, you're not going to know you did heels. Nope. You ain't going to fit it. I ain't going to feel it. Nope. Just relax. Just really relax. <laughs> not always. Sometimes it doesn't need to be a... There it goes. You heard that one? Sorry, camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been my yeah, arm. I've been my holiday. Oh, I've been my holiday. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what it feels like. Jack! <laughs> I already knew it was coming up. That's mm -hmm. so great, though. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Take note of his knee placement right now. Hey-ya! Yeah. He gives you better leverage. Okay, so now, hold this up strong. So we're going back. Now now you feel me strong? <laughs> I'm going to do it. You, you, you feel me pushing now? Yeah. Now, check this one. That's that bull. That's that. That's that's that's, 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 that's the femur jammed up into the into the acetabulum. Oh. Right. Well, femur jammed up in the ass. Why do you even know what that means? I'm I don't school. Either. I don't need to sound painful. At the sound top painful. of the femur is a bone. It looks like a hammer. Y'all know the femur, but the acetabulum. That's where like... it sits into the, the hip. Oh. That's called the acetabulum. Oh, okay. Oh, that whip, that whip. I knew it was coming. Come on, nursing student. Ah. 
Uh, oh, 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 that was a good one. That one just popped big time. And last but not least. Is it out of the acetylamine? Yeah. <laughs> Hold this up strong. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That was good. It's in there properly now. Yeah. That's strong. Look to the right. Look to the left. Good. All right. Stand up. Ugh. Move around. Ugh. This would be the point in time when I'd be like, whoop, that right there. Right now, I'm like, big dog, it's time. Cycle, it's time. It's time. Cycle, it's time. I'm ready cycle, now. Cycle, I'm ready cycle, now. Cycle yeah, ain't finna get it. I feel good. Oh, yeah. I feel good. No, no, stretch forward. Stretch check, forward. check your range of motion. See? Ugh, no, I like it. <laughs> yeah. It should be a lot easier. Mm-hmm. I'm do clip. <laughs> Man, I don't think y'all understand. Especially, well, some of y'all at home who watching, y'all do understand. I know she won't understand, but Thank as you. she's here, she'll understand like just what just happened. All right, one more here. thing while we're here. Lay on your back. You ain't got the vitamins, do you? You ain't gonna do that white man magic, are you? No, she, I, 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 I got him at the house. You have huh? I got him at the house. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hold that. Oh, come, come down a little bit. There you go. Hold this up strong. Don't let me push it down. Good. Hold it up strong. Mm -mm, that ain't strong at all. Strong. He said, "Hold it up strong." So here, <laughs> if I do that, hold it up strong, no problem. If I do that, no problem. If I do this, I don't even have to. Touch, I don't even have to touch her. I can just use my <laughs> use energy to do it. Okay. What the hell? That's her psoas. Her psoas. Oh, that's definitely going from yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Then you're yeah, That's out of there. Oh. This one right here. Well, we, you know what we, you know what we call this one before, before the tools. You almost forgot to do that. No, I didn't. Oh no, you can't. No, Jack, no, she can't get a tool. You gotta give her the, the same shit oh, you did to us. What the? Yeah, this is just gonna tickle. Man, before, this ain't before, right, this man. Is, you should have gave dead. her what you did to us when you yeah. had to do this. this well, well, well not, what I did to you was called the, the passage to manhood. Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was called, you're going to find out if you're a man today. <laughs> so, he, he, he did death to you. This is tickle. This man. Is tickle Take a big breath in. Let it out slowly. Yeah. See how much. See, oh, see how much. Bullshit. I don't, I don't, I'm mad now. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll make you feel better in a second. No, no, I'm cool. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Last one. And relax. Ooh. Okay, give me your arm. Strong. So now I can do this all day and it ain't going anywhere. But if I just do that, nothing. So anyway, the passage to manhood used to be no tool work. Yep. It used to be bend your knee. Bend my bad. Bend breathe it, breathe in. And go straight. And out. <sighs> Ooh, that's nasty. Oh, okay. So anyway, you don't want that one. I don't. <laughs> that's, that's the hell everybody used to go through. Yeah. Like I said, I changed things. That this is this is this is the new me. Because I had to, I went to the private practice, and then a lot of them couldn't take me. The the, 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 the the no pain no gain philosophy. That's why you tell people maybe I'm psychotic because that's the only way I feel like I'm ready. Like by the time you did then, this and I went through the pain, now I'm like. Let's go. Let's go. I still got one good one right now. There you go. All right, now stand up and move around and see how that feels. Okay. All right, come see me. One more. It's another test. Hold this up strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Strong. Okay. Right. Where you going? Where you going? Strong. <laughs> Strong. Yeah. All right. Relax. So we're just gonna put it back in in place first. Relax. Okay. Strong. Good. Strong. Good. All right. Sit down. Talking about the. <laughs> this is called race day preparation right here at its finest. Put this behind your back. There we go.
Okay, relax. Switch. The one that I be complaining about when I'm yeah. like, your arm ain't moving with your feet. Yeah. That hitch. This one. Yep. <clears throat> what that feel like? <laughs> <laughs> Put your hand back behind your back. There you go. That feels good and like how it used to feel. I'm glad I don't have to do what y'all did, okay? Back in the day. <laughs> Charin Friday asks, is there a YouTube channel with your work on it for what you're doing? No, but there's instructional videos on my website. My, we website? my website is www.fat-toolsusa.com. And then under the about link, you'll see videos, which shows how to do the whole body. Now, move your arms around and see how that feels. <clears throat> it feels bad. It's not as tight as it always is. How does it look? Oh, I don't have to. Because it's him, I don't even look to nothing. I already know you're ready. I'm telling you, that's why you're doing extra tomorrow. Like, you ready. I ain't even worry about that. You, you is ready. You were ready, Jack. <laughs> Because, because you want to be the best in the down. world. That's why you do extra, because you, you want to be the best in the world. Today. You don't seem literally one of the best of the best of yeah. the best of the best Thank that you. is with doing anything. <laughs> you gonna have to do extra more, Jack. You gonna get out there and ain't gonna feel nothing. Oh You'll be like, gosh. I can do one more, Ray. I can do one more. And I'm gonna be like, I'm glad you can, because you got one more. All right, y'all. That's the end of my show for today. It's been real. It's been real. I have a big dog. Andy Hill, come work on me and get one of my legs right. I ain't got but one good one. She didn't do the other one, but it's all right because, you know, I ain't got to work out tomorrow. She do. And I ain't work out yesterday either. So just because I'm great. When you're great, you don't have to work out. Why do you all work out so often? I have no idea, none, Jerry Warner. Because you're semi-spot. You're, 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 you're tie <laughs> And you're probably more motivated at this point. <laughs> I'm, I'm just banging when we're pretty.